our taxes done, not last minute, last week, but not last minute. But we never do our taxes early. Never do our taxes like in January. Couple reasons. One, we're not going to get a big refund. We never do that. And number two, don't have all the stuff that we need. Don't have all the forms and all the information, all the reports. Because you can't do your taxes until the time's right. That's, we have all the stuff we need and it matters. And that leads us into today's verse, Galatians 4 4, which says, When the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son. When the fullness of time had come. Not just randomly, just not just any time, not just right off the not, not as soon as possible. You know, could have sent Jesus years and years earlier. But no, God waited and waited to send Jesus. God waited until the fullness of time had come, till the time was right, till till the Romans had come through and, and sort of had the peace of Rome spread all over the place until they got all the roads ready so you could take this the good news from all these little towns in Jerusalem and in Israel, all over the, the known world, to where there was one language, the Greek language that almost everybody spoke, till the, till the fullness of time had come, till the time was right, God withheld. But when the time was right, Jesus came, and Jesus taught, and Jesus lived, and Jesus did miracles, and Jesus died. But that only was waiting for the fullness of time as well because three days later the fullness of time for that had come and he burst forth from the grave. We call that Easter. It is the celebration of the fullness of God's time. And so make sure as we hit Easter that you do Easter this year. We have four services at our church including one on Thursday night. So make sure you celebrate the reality that the fullness of time has come. Jesus has arrived, Jesus has come, Jesus has died for our sins, Jesus has risen. That's about as full as time gets. And that's today's Jumpstart.